and we are out of leather so we're gonna go ahead and have our tailor take over at the blacksmith shop for a little while just so we don't run low on tools look at this every single house is just filling up like crazy we've got our teacher doing a good job here now our market radius is such that I don't want to build too many houses too far away from it I think what I'm gonna do is build a cross street instead uh, I was gonna build it here but that's probably a bad place I'll build a cross street here St probably don't want to make that one stone we're gonna build a dirt road cross street here and we can go ahead and set up some more houses along it like this one or this one great and our food is starting to get a little bit lower just probably because uh, you know we're just burning through it so much you know what I should probably do is build a city hall also so that I can actually track these statistics of like what's going on with stuff now I don't think that this needs to be placed anywhere special so in fact I'm likely I'm kind of inclined to just put it somewhere that I don't really uh, it's so expensive though you know what we're not building a town hall yet that's a, that's a waste of our resources you know it's also a waste of our resources not chopping all these trees where are you guys at come on get on that guys all of them also pick up that iron it's probably valuable. And all the stone. It is early summer of year seven, and our first trader has arrived. Let's see what he's got. He's got berries, he's got fish, he's got iron, he's got leather. How much does leather cost? Oh, wait, no. That's I'm looking at the inventory. Let's see what he's got. He's got walnut seeds, he's got squash, and he's got pears. Well, I'm thinking that maybe... Let's see if we max this out. Well, that's 900 units. So if we max out what he's offering, or whatever, then turn down what we're taking, we can uh, diversify our food supply some. So let's see, I'm overpaying by 234. I need an additional 66. How about that? Now I'm overpaying, still. Now I'm underpaying. Boom. Trade. So we have just bought him out of all of his foods except for them walnut seeds. But you know what? Those walnut seeds were probably just going to be another stupid, uh, I don't know, wool, not wool thing, tree thing to have to deal with. I tried that arboretum method last time. I did not like it. Not one bit. I'm much happier now that I've got my teacher and my schools and my houses. You know, everything's coming up aces. Now, theoretically, I could even start upgrading some of these houses to stone houses. But I think it's more important at this point that we just focus on having a uh, productive number of houses. So here we go. Another house there. And another house there. And now that my market's together, I'm going to go ahead and assign one person to run the market. And let's see what's going on back here. We've got our herbalist shed, which is starting to come together as well. Obviously, stone is in short supply, but that's why I've indicated to the fellas they should come out here and just pick it up off the ground wherever they can because like we got plenty of stone back this way so you know do something about it and in fact they are they're they're accumulating it slowly but surely i'm also thinking about setting up a uh, barn over here to start storing some of this stuff in now that we have our market the uh, market vendor will start moving stuff from the barn to other places so i think that ideally we would want to have the barn facing this way from there let's see yeah something like that where I guess I could have the barn facing in like so hmm that might be too far from them so I don't know exactly what the optimal barnage method you would use here is maybe what I should do is set the barn up halfway between here I don't even know I should I should find that out but I'm not gonna I'm just gonna build a barn because that is how I roll. So, we are just going to put our barn in on our corner here. No, that's... I feel like I shouldn't put it halfway. I should put it, like, right close to one or the other. And so, we're going to put it right close to this one. Boom. You've been barned. It's a, it's a pretty barny plot, but I think it'll come together. So, we've got our herbalist garden here. Look at how many people we have graduating from college. We're back up to 24 population, which is not bad at all. We are running out of firewood, though. That that is terrible. That part that part we should uh, we should all fear, 
and we should select the proper tool and uh, I don't know mark some of these trees for uh, chopping because oh my goodness we're in trouble if uh, if we run out of firewood okay laborers do your tree thing please don't kill us all from lack of firewood now where are the exact radii here they're about there okay so if I wanted to mark some of these trees back here as well for felon that would be a totally legitimate thing. So let's go ahead and mark these ones. Not the babies, because there's no sense in killing them. Little tiny trees just don't generate enough. Oh, whoa, are we out of coats? Okay, let's go ahead and get our tailor back over here before we start having people freeze. And let's go ahead and pull some of our coats out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, we are out of coats because we replenished from the town supply. Thank you, Trade and Post Worker. You are very diligent, but not at all doing a good job of keeping people from starving or freezing to death. So, I've enabled production. I've got a guy working there. Good deal. New town already moved in, or new, new building already moved into, and new babies. We're just new babying it up all over the place here. Uh, that's that's wonderful. That is truly a a wonderful thing. So, let's see. As long as we don't actually run out of lumber here, which would be a terrible thing. Yes, excellent. So, let's go ahead and just... Okay, well, a lot of this has been marked for collection, but eh, let's just make sure we don't run out. We're just going to clear-cut everything over here. And maybe even start building a path down here. Just because we're, we're making this trip uh, fairly regularly at this point, and uh, might be helpful. Good deal. So you guys uh, get diligent. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to stone parts of the path here. Like between our fishing hut and whatnot, because that'll, that'll help them be a little bit more productive. Oh, over here, this house is cold. Oh, luckily it's at least early spring now. But yeah, we have uh, not been producing the timber that we need. That is uh, truly an unfortunate tale. Herbs are being produced. Uh, thank you for telling me the reserve of logs is low three times in a row. Oh, we're running out of food. We're, we got too many people. That's bad. Uh, we're, we're rapidly declining on food production. What if I put another forester like further outside of there? No, I think that's probably the wrong answer. I think I probably want to put the next... For, let's see, how much food did these guys produce last season? 720. How much food did the gatherers produce last season? A ton. How much food did these guys produce? Not as much. Okay, gatherers hut is clearly the way to go if we want to avoid running out of food. So, where can I find me another gatherers hut? Oh, good. I've conveniently built a path partway there. Um... Although I'm going to clear this whole forest, so that's not going to be ideal. I don't want I can't over over consume there because that's going to be a separate problem. And huh, okay. Huh, well, the the trick here might be to set up a new forester to start, I don't know, collecting some of this. Which part of these uh trees are are we collecting? Are we collecting all the way out here? No, we're only collecting on this side. So, maybe let's put our new gatherer's hut right here yes and then we will extend our road which we will now make stone because yes we are gonna need that actually where's where's my gathers hut mark okay so gathers hut is gonna be right here So let's go ahead and set up a stone road here, because we're also going to need to collect all of the... That's 88 stone. That's way more stone than I should spend. We're going to set up a non-stone road, just a normal road out to our gatherer's hut. But we are going to mark all the stone here for gathering, because that's going to be super important. Yes, so having that road there will help drastically. And we can also set up a uh, stockpile in the short term as well to help make all that collection easier great four by four okay unpause go to it guys don't freeze to death don't starve to death please don't starve to death i will look like quite the fool oh so many full houses 
Seven students. Wow. Okay, we are just really, really doing a good job this game. I think I've kind of figured out a lot of the fundamentals of how all this works. And I'm kind of tempted to add another fisherman's hut. Although, like I said, they're not as productive as the gatherer's huts. Although the gatherer's huts have that high walking penalty, that distance that you have to deal with. And I'm not sure that if I have a market all the way out here that that fella is going to carry the stuff all the way back. So, hmm. Hopefully this will be alright. In the past, I've expanded too far too quickly. Like, geographically. Yeah, this is... I'm really regretting now that I chopped down this forest. That, that is hopefully not going to bite us. It is late winter of 8, and we have yet another fella here to trade with us. Let's go ahead and just take his food and use it to increase the diversity of our diets, while also clicking on these very small buttons that are way too hard to click on. Okay, well, we can't entirely complete this trade, but we're just going to cut down on that until we have found that beautiful sweet spot. So, like, something like that. Boom. Overpaying by four units. Boom. Overpaying by, what? Dang it. Eight. Oh, got to subtract instead of whatever. I need, uh, there. There. That. Trade. Done. Go away. Dismissed. Okay. Cool. So at that point, we probably want to get our tailor shop up and running again so we don't run out of coats. I've gone ahead and built a forester lodge here, or started one anyway, because we're going to want to replant this whole area. It's just not going to be feasible to keep this not planted. And uh, this er this gatherer's hut, um, you know, might come in handy. Although if we're able to keep, uh, you know, getting food from trading posts, then we might not be in as huge a trouble as I was worried up front. You know, also these fish guys now, 1,300 fish last season. Not bad at all, you know. So I'm actually thinking I might go ahead and stall this gatherer's hut for right now, or at least slow it down some in favor of getting this reforested here. And all of these little houses are just filling up, catching up on our firewood. Some of these trees here are naturally even growing back already, which is nice, although the stuff over here just really isn't at the same speed. Although I did chop it down more recently, so that might be the uh, reason for that. And it is early autumn of year 9. We are wrapping up our first decade. I would call this a, a pretty successful start. We've got a town that's growing 32 adults, 4 students, 12 children. You know, in fact, it's probably even time to start building more houses once again. I mean, wow. These guys, they just can't keep up. Luckily, we've got a new herbalist in town who is already just gathering food. We've got a forester lodge that started to replant all this here. And as soon as this starts getting more replanted, I'm planning on just setting up another hunter. And I don't think I could do a gatherer so close. But, you know, I could start setting up more outdoorsy stuff out here. Autumn of year 9, 2,600 food in the bank. Yes, please. That That's pretty f just fantastic. If we can just keep... Uh, staying ahead of the curve food-wise, you know, we're maxing out our medicine, uh, our herbs, you know, we've got a ton of coats, which, I mean, you can never go wrong having too much coats, that's, because then you can just sell them, that, that's, that's wonderful. Speaking of which, let me go ahead and, uh, up our coat inventory in here, and, uh, you know what I'm gonna do also, is I'm gonna go ahead and start this guy on tool production again, with, it's amazing if you avoid a tool apocalypse, how well your town can do. So, I mean, we've got iron in the bank, we've got stone in the bank, we've got logs in the bank. In fact, you know what, maybe let's end this decade by beginning the construction of our new town hall. Let's, you know, it doesn't have to be anywhere super important. So, or at least like right here, this is primo real estate because of the market. Let's go ahead and set our new town hall up back here maybe. No, that's, that's not happening for some reason. Why is it not happening? Town Hall, you should you should be a thing that happens. It's it's almost the end of the winter. Almost the end of the decade. Okay. Town Hall. Boom. Const we've broken ground on the new Town Hall to end this wonderful decade of amazing progress. And, uh, you know what? We're going to have to break ground on a bunch of new houses soon, too. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. Boom. There's one now. 
I haven't really built any wells, so I'm hoping that that's not like a long-term problem. Because I understand that in some games, like this one, if you don't build wells, then you run the odds that, uh, you know, what do you call it? Everything will catch on fire and people will die. So, you know, there, there's that to look forward to. And so let's see, if we put one house here. Yes, yeah, so that's where our street's going to be. Great, great, great. Well, late winter of nine. Everybody ready to ring in the happy new year? I, I wish there was like a timer that I could count down, you know, so I could be like, early spring, happy new year. Wow, it was a terrible early spring. But anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome to the new decade millennium. And keep adventuring.